Hello viewers, time for some animation. You have seen the Iron Man dance at the beginning of this video and we are going to remake this now in After Effects using Element 3D plugin. So at first we need to download the 3G, 3D object file of the Iron Man suit from a website. I am not designing it. So you can download it from here. I will give this link in the description. You can free download it from here. This suit is looking cool. So after downloading this file, you will have to upload it in Mixamo. Go to Mixamo.com. You have to sign up or if you already have an account, just sign in. And now you need to upload the 3D object file in Mixamo. You can upload character here. Just select the character. You can select FBX, OBJ, or GIF file. After uploading, you have to select six uh, points of that object, and then you can see your object here. After that, you can select anything uh, here these animations these are created animations available in Mixamo these animations will automatically be done and after selecting your animation you can download from here just click on download select FPS and file format with or without a skin and keyframe reduction so after downloading your object will do this stops whatever you select there are many more movements and animations built in in mixamo so after you have selected the perfect animation you are looking for you have to download it and then we will have to go to blender at blender you will have to blender open the blender we are deleting these options and now we will open the file downloaded from mixamo After importing your object, you can run this object and your object will do the animation and after that you will have to select this ending frames, you will have to check how many frames your object has from Mixamo, here this object has 89 frames and and imported this object has 95 frames so i have selected 95 and pressed enter here so after frames are adjusted you will have to uh, add colors or you can add colors in element 3d also no problem in that okay after that go to export and export as webfront.obj file okay go to any folder save as save at any folder but be sure to check this animation before exporting your obj this is mandatory then export obj after exporting the obj file the files will look like this these are the frames for your animation the Iron Man dance has on 95 animations so there are on 95 files in total these are every keyframe now we will have to go to Adobe After Effects so go to After Effects then select a new composition at this new composition create a new solid now 
add element 3d to this solid now go to scene setup now you will have to import object so click here file import 3d sequence now add the 3d sequence folder select the first object and click open and select bottom force alignment the well object will be at the floor then click ok the object will be imported now okay the you cannot see the object so just click normalize size or you cannot see the object click here normalize size and now you can see the object the first frame is shown here you can change the color from here change any color just do adjustments what adjustments you need this looks funny and after the colors are done you can check for more colors here bright light okay black more colors here okay after the coloring is done you have to click ok so this will be the object and the object will be moving like this I have selected funny colors so the object will move like this I'm going to the made composition so the so after selecting perfect colors your object will look like this I am going to turn off the lights the object will look like this so I have added some extra things that is glimmer the glimmer effect is making the eyes to glow here you can see the eyes are glowing so you can use the glimmer effect or it's your choice no matter now another thing to do is that go to the render settings of your element then add the ambient occlusion choose the AO mode to SSAO enable also enable AO then SSAO quality to ultra slower then increase the SSAO intensity the SSAO intensity will make your object more shiny and better colors see it's at 0 and now it's at 35 you can see the changes the object is looking realistic you can increase much further but select a optimum value and also you can use motion blur another thing to use is that shadow if you are getting a background that has proper lighting and shadow is required for that and here at the lighting of this element you can adjust the lighting and physics environment you can change the exposure the exposure will increase the brightness of the object zero is better for me now so I have added the lighting you can also add lighting or it's your choice and this is the background I selected so this is all and after all this is done you can see the Iron Man is dancing in this area 
so let's check the effect again and thank you for watching please do subscribe to our channel thank you